Greetings, undetermined spectators of the World Wide Web. I am Tall Lank again. Welcome back to Day of the Tentacle. Now, let's see if I can get my facts straight from the last episode. We have to find a new authentic diamond to fix our time machine so that we can go get our, th our two other friends who are stuck in different time periods. So that we can stop two tentacles or particularly one really evil tentacle from taking over the world. That's what we're dealing with right about now. So, time machine, hello. Uh, let's see here, what do we got here? Look okay, at time machine, use time. We can't really do any of these things. So we're gonna keep moving. We're just gonna, we're just gonna stroll on over with that wonderful... Maybe I put them upstairs. Maybe. That's got to be it. Upstairs. Sure. All right, Doc. Let's go upstairs. Ugh. All right. Where am I now? Oh, 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 right. Dr. Fred? He went, he went upstairs, bud. Gotta keep up. The plans! The plans! Uh, okay. We're just gonna keep following him here. What is an, what is the R for? What is this for kinda... Alright. These are some strange now, hallways. Where did Dr. Fred go? Um... I'm gonna assume... That he went upstairs. So we're just gonna keep going upstairs. This doesn't look right. What's over here? Oh, can I open this door? Is there anything else that I'd be able to... Oh, I can go in the door. Okay. Is this... Okay, this doesn't seem to be much. Let's see what we got here. Oh! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, we're, out, we're outside now. Close window, crank, chimney... Hmm. Let's try and use the crank. Crank it up. Oh, there's nothing on it. Uh, look at flagpole. There's no flag on it now because it's evening. Ah, gotcha. Didn't realize that. Can I, I open? can't. It's stuck. It's stuck. All right. Well, back into the. Back into the uh, into the thing. We it's go. It's already open. Cool. All right, let's just let's just keep moving because apparently we what what, what? rash trying to romance. Oh, I see. The the tentacle thing is, is pulling some some shenanigans while we're out here. Uh, door. Let's try this. Open the door. Anything in here? Hello? Oh, hello. Aren't you weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, no, oh. doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. Hmm. So, uh... If you guys aren't able to tell, um, one person has notified me that this game is a sequel. So there's a lot of things that they're going to be referencing that I know nothing about. Um, so, so what are you, what are you so up to? What are you up to these days? Don't worry about me. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. Wonderful. Uh, are all your hobbies this Are fast? all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... He's not gonna finish that sentence, and I don't think I... That's quite a nice collection. I want it! It should be mine! Quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No! I mean, uh, no. 
They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Well, that's just straight up sad. Uh, a nice, nice hamster. Nice hamster? Does he do tricks? Other than reading no, the newspaper? No, sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. I mean, the hamster that you've got now is able to read the newspaper, so that's pretty impressive, I'd say. What, what happened to the old... What happened to the old hamster? I want to know. I... I don't remember. Oh. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What, what, was, what was... What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like... Ding. Oh, God. I hear it in my dreams till this day. Uh, Hamster really should get some exercise, seeing as he's just sitting around reading the that paper. Hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. This man scares me, like, a lot. Apparently we're gonna ask how his, how his parents are. How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a birdbath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. It's wonderful. Glad we're committing to the rhyming scheme. Pop it in, Well, bit. hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Oh. Shalom. All right, well, that's a that's a thing. That's a thing. All right, we're gonna open the door. Uh, who's in here? Who's in, oh, hello. We got ourselves a, a statue. We're gonna look at the Creepy. statue. Must be an Edison. Must be. We got some. We got some Elvis. We got an owl. We got random muscular man. We got. We got Nurse Edna. Talk, talk to Nurse Edna. Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard uh. Bernoulli? Um, you must have confused me with some other Bernard Bernoulli. You must have me confused with some other Bernard Bernoulli. No, you're the one. You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? Oh. Uh, I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. That's, that's just, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's the plan so far. Um, how, how's Dr. Fred doing? How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. Yeah. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. Well, that's great. I'm a little bit concerned about the situation going on here. That man is fumbling with a gun, dangerously aimed at his head. Uh, I don't know. Uh... Yeah. How, do you How did he wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. Oh. Okay. Uh. What's, what's wrong? What's wrong with sleepwalking? Yeah. What's Ordinarily, wrong? nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers a combination to the safe. I find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and huh. slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Huh. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. Hmm. Huh. Alright. 
just continuing on with the with the questioning. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a oh. lot of coffee. Huh. Me, I only drink decaf. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, you yeah, haven't seen. You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Super battery, huh? Fred might have something like that. Okay. Fred is the one who told me to find them. Yeah. Oh. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Ray yes, it's Gadget the best Gadget surveillance Gadget. system in the state. Huh. Is that... Uh, <laughs> um... Um... So... Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. I'm sorry, I just really enjoyed that moment where they were marveling at the techno technological uh, marvel that is their VCR. There's something about that. I really are those really xenophobe it. crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't touch. Well, after you saying, you know, don't touch, I was wondering. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. All right. I was just admiring your statue. Yeah. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. When oh. Fred's ancestors carved it. I'll let you get back to what you are doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> that may be uncomfortable, but we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna, move, we're gonna move right on up. Trying to find a doctor. Uh, do do do. No, not there. No, I didn't want to go back in there. Um, let's, let's try the stairway again. I don't know. Um, that looks like a hallway that I should be able to go through. No, 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 I didn't want to, I didn't, I want to, I want to go back. I want to go back up there. Let's not be walking around in circles. Okay. So we got the bed. Uh, we'll it's at... not exactly the Ritz. No, it's not. It's really not. Anything else of note in here other than the window? Can I use the bed? No time for that now. I'm saving the world from purple tentacles. Fine, fine. Get your pocket protector in a bunch. Oh, it's daytime. Okay. What's this sign? Look at this. Welcome, that. novelty goods convention. Hmm. Okay, so we have pulley. Wow, a pulley! By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage by changing the direction of motion and the applied force. Sure. Yeah. We could do that, theoretically. Nice. Just go down the chimney. Didn't realize that was not. Hello. All right. This place is. This place is odd. Oh, that's a cigar lighter. Hey, boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Goods Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Goods Salesmen know how to have a good time. Okay. Has anyone ever told you you, you look like Don Corleone? Anyone ever tell you? Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Corleone? That's strange. My wife says I look like Charles Lawton. So, oh, want a cigar? Uh, mom never told me Sorry, never. My mom told me never to smoke. Hey, if I listened to my mom, I wouldn't be where I am today. Well, suit yourself, boy. All right. Well, we got disgusting mounds of party garbage on one side. We got a vat of teeth. And we got cigar salesmen. We got a table covered with junk. 
And it looks like we just saved. Which means I'm gonna add this episode for now. Things are... I don't really know what's going on. But I don't mind it much. I'm having fun. I'm having fun wandering around this crazy world. And I'm going to continue doing that until the end. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, don't pick your nose, that's nasty. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you want to leave a comment as to your thoughts on this game or uh, any other games that you might want me to play, you can go ahead and do that. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe that's a thing you want to do. I'll see you later.